pump component. This is the pump body. So we have the pump, the T-type pump. We have the draw pipe to the bottom of the hopper. And the back we have this for the for the drive shaft to get it in and we will get through from this end. And we have two gears. So one is for the left, a smaller hole, and the other for a bigger hole on the right. And also the shape of this, just to match the shape of the drive shaft. So we can have a look of the drive shaft. So that the drive shaft. So it's matched the gear shape. So this gear we're getting here. So when the gear is spinning, it will create vacuum here. And it's a draw the mix from this, this pipe into the pump. And also you say there the hole here is to draw air from this side and the mix from this side. And the air and the mix will be mixed together and have the pressure and the press into the front plate of the pump. So front plate on the top here is the outlet of the mix and the air mixture. And for the pump to take all the mix, nearly all the mix from the hopper, so we have this plastic pipe. The plastic pipe just uh, get into from here, so you can see. You can use lubricant when you install them together. So this is the way. So after you install the pump to the shaft, you just put this down to touch the bottom of the hopper. So this is the front plate. On the front plate, you have this hole for going out. And you have another hole for overflow. The pump will have a pressure with the pressure mix mix high pressure and press the mix air mixture into the cylinder. But when a pressure reached, there are going to be no more mix mixture into the, the freezing cylinder. So when that happens, we're going to have a overflow valve at this side. So the high pressure get into there through the overflow valve here and the back from this hole into the pump body so that the mixture, the mix will recirculate inside the pump rather than pump into the cylinder because in the cylinder we already have enough mix mixture and the pressure is high enough. The overflow valve is this fuel component. So this is the plastic well body and it will get in first get in there first and then we have the spring the spring act as the pressure so when pressure enough the mix will push the spring down and at last we have this plug so the plug will on the top of this so we can press it down say we have a cut over here so when you install the cut should face this catch. So you put it down and then turn so that the catch will hold the groove here. So it will catch there. Now you're going to put this to this cover. And you have the valve installed, this piston going first that way into the hole and then the spring and then the plug and for this you're going to use the knob to fix a pump of course there's going to be o-ring for the pump there is a black o-ring here you're going to put it in for connectors of the pressure pipe so you're going to have a o-rings on this plug you're going to have o-rings around here to seal between the front plate there will be two green o-ring 
get into ad hoc. Let's see the the group. You can see there you get in to there. And other so this is uh, for the pump. Other parts. So this is a connector, and this is the pressure pipe. The pressure pipe connector with O-ring this side and plug in that size so plug it in over there and this side get into the pump hole and in there there's going to be O-ring so, and here at the bottom we have a three O-ring can be fitted and we can also fit another well over here. That's duckbill well. So this is a pressure pipe. This is down to the freezing cylinder. This connected to the pump outlet.